They know what's at stake. Just a point required to guarantee their passage through to the knockout stages. We'll have it live on EA TV. One of the great, most atmospheric venues anywhere in the football world. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we wonder tonight if Arsenal can confirm their place in the knockout stages of the UEFA Champions League. It is Borussia Dortmund versus Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a good game because Arsenal have played some great football so far. More of the same today, and they will be going through to the knockout stages. starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund well it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today will they stay high and wide will they come in field and support the centre forward and how deep will they come out of possession they're going to be key to this formation and so they starting 11 for Arsenal well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. on the scent of something positive. Oh, great attacking play. And a really good diving stop. taken short firing it towards goal and fine goalkeeping they'll repeat the trick corner again A short corner here. Oh, surely! Couldn't make it 1-0. Maybe not quite warmed up. Well, that should have been the opener. He has to hit the target from there. As we've already made note of, here is the scenario for the visitors on this occasion. 
Stewart, can they secure their place in the knockout stages? Yeah, get a draw today and they're through. But they have to get their tactics absolutely right. They don't want to sit too deep. Holland. Baku. Space and time for the cross. And still looking for space. The fans want to see a shot. Enrique. Sanchez. And now it's Ridley Baku. Roberto Sanchez. Terrific piece of anticipation. Could be a chance to break here. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter-attack. Not so. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. On the offensive. It comes to absolutely nothing. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. They take it short. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Can they get themselves in front here? There is the goal to open the scoring. Who can say they don't deserve to be in front? Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plumb. It's a great goal. Back underway, Arsenal with the lead. Enrique. A chance to whip it in. Well, not cleared away completely. Harrison. Time for composure on the ball. And Arsenal corner as they look for more. Well, that save could be the turning point here because they've been second best all over the pitch up to now. And how about the short corner? towards the back post well the chance has been missed no other way to describe it
Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. Baku, can he play it in? Speculative ball fired to the near post. A deft clearance. Renato Sanchez. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. Martin Odegaard. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the main thing is they're currently on course to book their place in the knockout stages today. Well, it's job half done so far, Derek. Now they need to see out the next 45 minutes. Keep playing well, stay on the front foot, and they should go through. Underway then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Enrique. Kukchu. Renato Sanchez. Sigankov. Poor pass. A lot to look forward to on the Champions League group stage front here on EA TV Live. It's Borussia Dortmund up against Olympique Marseille. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. It did look on for them, but not to be. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Going well. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And a fantastic timing save. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches <laughs> trying to deliver it accurately well they couldn't quite keep the header down goal kick Manuel Lazzari. And now here's Henrichs. Ezzi. Thomas now. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV. And looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal facing Burnley. And Dortmund will go to the bench. <laughs> Cook two. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Holland. He takes aim. 
Superb block. Substitution it is for Dortmund. And he's fired over the corner. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. And a throw in it's going to be. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Longley. Holland. Brandt. This could be the equaliser. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. nearing the end of the 90 minutes and Arsenal in charge can they get over the line Stuart interested in your thoughts on their overall hey, performance what a chance this is can't miss surely oh really sound goalkeeping well that's such a good save isn't it how did he keep that one out going for the short one it might still be can he put it away just can't get it past him breaking at pace and Ronaldo Sanchez with it now this could level it but denied by the keeper and at this late stage of the proceedings it could be highly significant well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. Here it is now, a substitution. Who can he pick out? Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. And a tidy challenge. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Defenders need to cover. This could be it! And it is! He's done it! Surely a case of game over! Well, let's have another look, because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. Well, a second goal for them here. with purpose and control oh the threat is there and the danger is averted Ikone and the verdict of the officials is offside well he just gets caught ball watching here needs to be more alive work harder to keep onside and be ready for the chance
And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here. And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group, Stuart. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Derek. It's job half done at the moment. They'll still want to take that top spot, though. It could make all the difference going into the next round.